Um, real YouTubers react to popular content. I truly have no idea what to expect. I like that the intro doesn't rhyme, but it still has a feel to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, before you say, Wolf, weren't you wearing this shirt yesterday? No more questions. Um, <clears throat> anyway, hello. I'm in a clappy mood today. You know, you're getting like a, you got a little, 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 little clap, a clap, 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 little, little big clap move. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what you guys came here for, right? A couple, those, uh, those claps are pretty lackluster. Um, so I, I spilled ketchup on my black pants. And I thought you couldn't really tell, but like part of the black pants is a different color black than the rest of it. So I have to wash my pants now. Um, what was I saying? Oh. Don't remember. Anyway, okay, so there I was. So I haven't done like a reaction video in a while. Uh, however, this one is one that I've been getting a lot. Um, I've been asked to react to it. Now I have done zero research. This video is called Animation vs. Pokemon Parentheses Official. It's by Alan Becker. Um, I have no idea what to expect going into this. My uh, actually, here's what I expect going into this. Um, I expect this to be a, uh, a targeted audience of like casual players, not competitive, obviously. I expect this to be somewhat similar to like the animation versus Pokemon. No, 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 the um, the terminal montage uh, video that I was very confused by, um, which I later learned was um, based on the Pokemon's Pokedex entries. It was a simulation based on that. So I do not know what to expect going into this. I've I've paused the video as soon as I opened it. Um, I know I read the description. It says something about Pokemon Soul Silver, and that's it. Um, that's that's literally all I know. So I'm gonna give you my competitive analysis, but I think the competitive analysis is gonna be of something that perhaps is not competitively oriented, but it might be. Like I really I really don't know. I don't. So um, yeah. Anyway, with that being said, it's ve it's a very popular video. It's been requested a ton, so we are gonna watch it together now. Let's see. Let's make sure the levels are right. At least are right to me. Soul Silver, Heart Gold. Oh, it's stick figure stuff. Oh. Okay, so when I was younger, this is really kind of just random, but when I was younger, I thought that like, non-verbal um communication is very interesting like for example i thought silent films were really cool um like the ability to communicate emotion and tell a story without actually using your words i thought was really cool so that, that this reminds i appreciate that there's been no there's no been no uh no uh talking yet it's all it's all like you can clearly tell what's going on there's a stick figure who i guess is going to be our main character trapped inside perhaps the computer and the player the human player is going to go to lunch and so and they plug in the ds so it doesn't die um, so I assume that the stick figure is going to enter the, the Game Boy. That's my prediction. But again, without words, it's hard to tell. Okay. Whoa. It's cool they added a shadow. That's super cool. <laughs> okay. Oh, it doesn't stay in the game. I don't think this is going to be a competitive analysis. I will give you a casual analysis instead. Um, friendship is important. Continuing on. Anti-piracy mode on? Okay. <laughs> Wait, how do they... How do they make Soul Silver do this? Wait, look at Chica Look at the freeze frame of Chikorita. That's super funny. Oh, I see it left footprints. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Okay, now we now we got our first text. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, poor BB. <laughs> I'm very curious how they like made the sprites behave in such a way. Oh. Oh. Very violent. This is quite unkind. This is not friendship. I understand now. The animation is versus the Pokemon. They're not working together. They're fighting. Whoa. Whoa. They give it red steam. That's funny. Oh. Hey, that's not how the game works. You can only have one Pokemon following you. This is honestly really cool. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I don't really, I, like, I don't really know what's going on. But it's the the fact that they, someone was able to make this, I think is really, really, really cool. I like it a lot. I'm digging it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Who? Pidgey? I am, I'm so smart. I actually, I don't know if all you find is Pidgey here, but I am so smart. I, this is why I'm world champion, folks. You know, any, any YouTubers could react to this. Pokemon, not Pokemon, it's relatively easy to follow, but how many could give you that hard read? Player. That was a critical capture. You see how it flashed? Right there. Look at the critical capture. I always don't do this. You can advance one frame at a time. There you go. I never do this on my videos, but people always are like, Dear Wolf, you can advance it one frame at a time. Here you go. This is for all the people who commented. Ah, whatever. Tired. It's a critical capture. It doesn't shake. <clears throat> I don't think you can get critical captures early on, though. I'm actually not sure about that. The music is well-timed as well. Again, I really like that there's a lot of, like, not, like, the, the storytelling is, it's telling a very clear story, even though there's no, like, voice acting and the text is limited. I think that's really cool. Emperor <laughs> Marie want to be friends? Okay, friendship analysis. Friendship analysis. Friendship analysis. Okay, the the animation is is the nice is a nice individual. <laughs> okay, more pokey man. I see you need to use electric type to beat Faulkner. I lost to a stick figure. <laughs> No, Heracross, don't drown. Blip, 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 blip. I'm so curious how they made this work. Like, I guess what you could do is you could take, like, uh, take individual, like, do each of this with one Pokemon and then edit out the player and then put this back in. But a lot of this, like, that part I can understand. I don't know if that's what they did, but uh, a lot of this I just don't understand how they did. Or maybe, you know what you could do is you could actually just have the background move and just have the character. Because if you look at the characters just doing a walking motion, so you could just play that and then move the background. Right? Like, in theory, the background could be moving in the thing. Actually, wait, the background is moving and the players are staying in place. Whoa! A new, a new character. This one is filled in, unlike the last one. Wait, they're all filled in except for the main character. <laughs> Very cool. 
No. No, not Sugma. Oh. This is very wholesome. I see, I see. It's building a full team. Slowpoke? This kind of makes me nostalgic for Gen 4. Uh oh. No, not far fetched. Here's what I like about this one. So, what I. Something that I found a little off putting about the terminal montage thing is that it was just very, very violent, you know? Um, whereas this one, I, I, it's very wholesome. I like it a lot. Like, he's using the power of friendship. The most powerful power. Okay, full team, full team. Are they gonna evolve me? Oh, Whitney. Oh, evolve! Oh wait, so they're evolving. That's cool. Croconaw, Pidgeotto. I wonder if this is based on the player, on like on an, on the like the creator's like real journey. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> That's really funny. That's actually super funny. That's cute. Pidgeot, Ampharos. Okay. Blossom. Where's Mag Cargo? No. Yes. Blossom's like a cool Pokemon. I don't know. It's too bad it's a Garbo. Oh, for alligator? But Sugma has no- Okay, there we go. King. Twice. Okay, I had to check how much time was left in the video. I wanted to know if this was the final confrontation. No, not your Pokemon, you. <laughs> okay. This is a plot twist I didn't expect. Whoa, off screen. Oh my. I see, now we're getting into the violent. Oh, it's size. Okay. That's really cool. That's Seismic Toss's animation. The the things in the background there. These things, these whatever they are, that's the Seismic Toss animation. So I think it's really it's like a really nice touch from Gen 4. Oh, Jairos. Hyper Beam? That's hi That's so sick. They're incorporating the Pokémon's animation from Gen 4. That's actually so sick. That's Hyper Beam's animation. No! <laughs> Let's go. Okay, this is casual battles. You can use healing items. Mega horn? Hurricane? Hydro pump. Do you like that I know all the moves? I don't even know why I know these. Bop. I also really appreciate that they're using type effectiveness. Like, Heracross should lose to, uh... Heracross should definitely lose to Gyarados, but Ampharos should probably be able to beat Gyarados, and Blossom should definitely beat Golem. Oh, Crobat! No! Type advantage again? No! Blossom! Is it dead? Now stick figure angry? Angry stick figure. It's weird to see the player character in Pokemon talk, because they never talk, you know? Like, if you, cause you're normally the main character. Thunder Punch? Uh, Iron Tail? 
Air Slash, I think? Hurricane, or maybe Ice Nerf. Flamethrower. Don't know. Hurricane? There's a lot going on. Hyper Beam. Could miss. So, if you're using Fly, Thunder will always hit you. That's probably why that hits. It's one of the few moves that can hit through Fly. Uh oh, Master Ball. Lugia? Hello? Lugia? I'm calling Lugia. That's my prediction. Ah! Ancient power? Presumably. Oh no! Bird! Bird down. It's definitely Iron Tail. Okay, here's my prediction. I think that the way this ends is... Oh, wait, this is from Naruto. I've seen this. Um, but anyway, I think this ends with for Alligator. For Alligator's gonna save the day, right? It's a They've intentionally saved the Water-type Pokemon for last. Sacred Fire, maybe? Should be Sacred Fire. Fire Blast. That's Fire Blast. <laughs> Hose is weak to rock and water and electric, so it's very effective. Where's Heracross? Oh. The power of friendship? Is the power of friendship going to going to win the battle? It kills my precious ego to say this. <laughs> Oh, so wholesome. And you, anyone can be Pokemon Master. But what, is Blossom dead? Oh. Oh, he gets acknowledged. No. Oh. <laughs> this is very wholesome. Okay, Heracross is still alive. What about Blossom? Wait, what about Blossom? Is Blossom just dead? Okay. Oh, not survive. Okay, not dead. Oh, is he going? Very cool. Very, very cool. Isn't this broccoli? I had broccoli last night. That was really that was really sick. I really enjoyed that. Um, I have I've never seen that before. Uh, I thought it was really cool. I really I thought I thought it was like a a really good lesson in storytelling, right? That it was very clear what was going on, and and they did it in a way that was very smart. The way they conveyed um, what was happening, I thought was really cool. The animation itself was obviously sick. The fight scene was cool, but just yeah, the whole the whole style of the thing, the way that they you know were able to incorporate. Um, the you know like the actual game itself and and make it you know make it look like it was from the game i like the pixelated art style that they used uh or like i like the fact that they used the pixelated art style from the games and were able to transfer that over i thought the changing backgrounds that if i don't know there was a lot of really cool stuff in there um i enjoyed it a lot so yeah hats off to uh to the video because that was a really good one i'm not gonna be honest after watching or i just said i'm not gonna be honest i am going to be honest um after watching like Terminal Montage is Pokemon Battle Royale. I was, like, so confused that I didn't, like, I didn't do any, like, popular reaction content anymore because I was just so confused. I was like, I don't understand anything. I don't understand. I don't understand. But now I feel like I understand it. The power of friendship was uh, very powerful. So, um, yeah, I'll link the original video down below. You guys can check it out. If you enjoyed watching, you know, if you hadn't seen it before like me, um, like, at least the least you can do is go over there and uh, leave a like because it's, it's really well done. So, um, yeah, I'll link that in the description in the comments down below. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you want me to react to next because now I'm taking I'm taking suggestions again, to say the least. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, that's it. Goodbye.